Right, hang on just a second. Let me just turn the music down for a moment. <coughs> oh, blimey. Right. Good morning. Good morning and welcome, everyone. I hope you're having a lovely, st well, a lovely middle of the week. Wait, midweek? What the fuck? Hang on. My God, fucking hell! It's Wednesday. Um, yes, welcome, folks. I hope you're all like. I hope. Yeah, I hope you're all okay. So, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a manic morning. I must admit, it's been pretty crazy over here. Uh, it's been crazy because there have been not one but two fire alarms, both false, this morning, uh, owing to the fact that apparently a nearby resident, or rather, sorry, another another resident in this block of flats that I live in had a pipe burst which caused a huge leak and while they were running around trying to fix it or rather trying to stop their water flow because they've just moved in and they're not familiar where the emergency shut off is um, while they were doing that the water pooled enough to actually leak down into the flat below straight into a light fixture <laughs> which um, I think the light fixture is both fire alarm and light fixture you know it's one of those ones which triggered a fire alarm which caused a building to be yeah, a building evacuation and now we have no fire system because the whole thing is on one key so we've got to turn the whole thing off because if we turn it on again the, the circuit just is yeah, well, there's water in the circuit or whatever in the in the fire alarm unit as in the box so uh, one phone call uh, to the emergency like hotline that's on the on the front of the building saying um, yeah, it's a pipe has burst, and um, yeah, so everyone trundled back to their uh, trundled back to their flats until someone came along this morning, and just oh look, the, the fire alarm switched off. I'll turn it back on. <sighs> Second fire alarm. Everyone evacuates. Yay! Um, so if there's a th yeah, if you hear like a siren going off, then it's a third one because the next person has come along and has not read the note that I left on the front of the fire alarm to say don't turn on the fire alarm until the emergency guys have got here. So this was all at like 7.30 or something, so yay! <laughs> uh, what a start to the day. Anyway, so I hope everyone's okay. hope you're having a lovely, lovely morning. Sorry, before we get started with the stream, please know that the latest YouTube project is still underway. It's on its sixth week of work, so I'm so sorry that it's taking so long. I am trying my best. The project consists of three videos that are collectively about one hour and ten minutes long. They're video essays, so they're not bullshitteries. They're something a bit different, which I... Good different, I hope? I mean, you'll be the judge of that. You'll be able to tell me whether they're good. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get them finished. So... Uh, all three of them are edited, and right now I'm quality assuring the third one. So I'm going through, and I'm spotting errors, and I'm fixing them. It's all very tedious and not very interesting, to be honest. So, um, yeah, that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be continuing the polishing. So, too long didn't read. I'm trying to polish three video essays for release soon, TM. Uh, by the end of this week, I'm hoping to have the bulk of it done, and, you know, for the videos to be really, really close to completion. So yeah, that's um, that's that's what's going on. I know. Well, technically, Outlander six weeks to make to make three, so eh, it's not that bad actually, uh, considering it's like an hour and ten minutes. It's not, you know, it's not too bad. Um, the the question is entirely on whether or not they'll be good or not. That's that's going to be you know, the the thing that, well, proof will be in the pudding. Thank you, Bakari and Gumball and Ixian and Aggrieved and Continuum and Western Bro, uh, Master Tax. And Acurus, thank you all of you, thank you. Oh, bear with me. Sorry, I just got a message. Uh, oh, uh, hang on, never mind, not important. Hang on, uh, sorry. Right, um, so yes, I hope everyone's having a lovely week and welcome indeed. So, um, oh yes, over here, uh, Lulu's, fl Lulu was a right pickle this morning. Um, she went in, so I was having a, co so one of one of the viewers who, uh, who I know uh, in real life, um, they have a very adorable dog and in mid-conversation when I was talking, so they were telling me about how their dog was attacked, and I was like, oh no, that's terrible. That's terrible that that could happen. Um, you know, what, what a bad dog, like a badly behaved dog to lunge at, uh, at their dog. Not two minutes after that conversation did Lulu lunge at their dog, trying to nip them because I was giving out treats, and Lulu gets very naughty when treats are being given out. So I look like a right fucking tit. And she was very naughty. I gave her a proper scolding and put her on the lead and didn't let her off the lead for the rest of the walk. So yeah, she was a right little little, little brat. But yeah, she's resting now, but um <sighs> fuck. Yeah. Um Yeah. It's just she gets funny when treats are being given. I think she in her mind she just thinks competition for treats, get away, you know. 
sucks. Um, meh. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just going to play a bit of Subnautica. So yeah, sorry, too long didn't read. Um, so editing today, cracking on with the latest project. For now, I'm just going to play a bit of Subnautica. And um, yeah, and see how it goes, really. It's been about five years since I last played this. So this was uh, released into early access in, I think it was December 2014, I think. And I played it very early 2015, so it's been quite some time since I've played this. I did play quite a lot of it, though. I got all the way through it, um, although back in the day, people tell me now that it has some sort of story. Didn't have that back in the day. You just had different biomes that you could explore and different things you could upgrade, but there was no real story beyond, hey, just survive. It was pure survival, which I really appreciated, to be honest. Thank you, Minion and Pego and Trailer and Kitten and Itmiji and Akiris. Thank you, all of you. Right, okay. Let me just pop the master volume back up. Here we go. Welcome to Subnautica. Nope, because you can't see it. Welcome to Subnautica. There we go, cool. Right, so let's just start a new game and see what happens. Oh. Now, I, I would do this in VR, but last time I did it, I got super sick. Holy shit. Uh, it got really nauseous really quickly, so maybe not, maybe not to start with. Okay. Play, new game. Survival, Freedom, Hardcore, Creative. Same as last time. Okay, we'll just go with Survival. Hmm. Thank you, Trip. Thank you very much, Trip. So an unknown vessel falls through an atmosphere of an, of an unknown planet. Thank you, Breezelbub. Thank you. Here we go. Grab the fire extinguisher. Put it out. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. Thank you, RMD. Thank you. <laughs> Despite the high technology, it's loading. Minor head trauma. This is considered a nocturnal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive, to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, so presumably the tutorial. This is new. This wasn't here before. Press tab to open or close PDA. Okay. Oh no, okay. Maybe the tutorial is keeping it light. Cool. The frame rate feels a bit naff. Thank you, Just Dre. Thank you very much, Just Dre. Okay then, so use Fabricator. No, we don't need that right now. So for those just joining, we're in an escape pod launch from an unknown vessel. And if we go up... Oh, this is new. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. So we are the sole survivor. On a world with no visible landmass. Dun dun dun. Okay. Thank you, Zayden. Thank you very much, Zayden. Our pod is just floating here. Let's get back inside. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long time. I vaguely remember this. So this is your fabricator bench where you can get food and stuff like that. Medkit fabricator. What's this? Pick up first aid kit. Circuitry test failed. Secondary systems offline. Radio offline. Distress signal broadcast failed. 
Uh, flotation device deployed. Hull integrity is okay. Solar cells one to three online. Okay. They're fully powered. Damaged secondary systems. Use repair tool, which I don't have. Storage container. What have we got here? Nutrient blocks, flares, filtered water. So some emergency supplies. I'll take a little bit. So right click. Don't go crazy though. Leave the rest. What's this? The damage radio. I have no repair tool. The seat that I use. Okay. Sustenance, resources, personal equipment. Can I make the repair tool? Deployables. Standard O2 tank. Scanner, repair tool. Here we go. So, silicon rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium are required to make the repair tool necessary to fix this stuff. The radio in particular. Okay. Thank you, N, uh, N Thalin, and Smokers, and Grove Spans. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Alright, up we go. So yes, the nature of the game, or at least how it was back in the, back in the day, was pure survival. As in the bottom left, you have food and water bars and stuff, and you've just got to try and last as long as you can, really. Right. Let's dive right in, shall we? Actually, should we save it before we dive right in? <laughs> Something big lurking. Ready. Let's have a quick little swim around. So we can pick up local life forms. Acid mushroom. Ooh. Creepy. Oxygen. Swimming to the surface. There we go. Okay. As we progress, we'll be able to unlock better equipment when it comes to... Ah, break limestone. Here we go. Quick tutorial. There we go. Bit of titanium. I don't remember the music. Is this new? Ooh, stuff floating to the surface. Look. Bubbles? Bubbles, I guess. Okay, what else can we recover? Let's keep our distance from those things. Ah, it's a peeper. New life form discovered. Hello. We can see if it's edible. Can I turn the music down? Why is it too loud? I think it's okay. Isn't it? I'm just going to pick up some local... Oh, hang on. Did I drop that? Pick up some local... Samples. Just the acid mushroom. Oxygen. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Try not to get too close to those things because I'm pretty sure they spray shit into the water. Ooh, look at that. Slow moving Leviathan. Creepy. It's got coral growing on its surface, look. Reminds me quite a lot of the Silt Striders from Morrowind. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, they're peaceful. They're just doing their thing, presumably filtering plankton or whatever. Okay, hang on, let's just get back to the pod. Right. Then to, yeah, both above and below. Smoky in here. Hang on a minute. So we found a bunch of samples. I believe we can scan them, can we not? So blueprints, what's this? Basic materials, titanium, titanium ingots. I will say ingots. Glass, bleach, electronics, water. Here we go, cooked food. A cooked peeper, protein-rich eyeballs, highly nutritious. Or well, we can cure them if we have a bit of salt. Hmm. Life pod, what's this? Beacon manager. I see, so we can switch switch beacons on and off. That's cool, holy shit. Photo manager, screenshots, voice log. 
The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Ah, this is all new. Ah, they've done lots of work on this. Okay. Thank you, Avis Jaeger. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cool. Equipment, none right now. Okay, fabricator. Sustenance. Cook this fish. The okay. fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Okay. Cured food, so salt deposit. Yeah. Okay. Get some water. Filtered water ingredients unknown. Bleach. Not sure what that's used for yet. Basic materials. Okay. So let's have a look and see. Equipment. Standard O2 tank. Get a bit of titanium. Fins with a bit of silicon. Okay. Scanner with a battery and titanium. I could get one of those already because I've got the... Hang on. Equipment. Battery. Battery. Ba resources maybe? Basic materials. Ah. So a bit of copper. Okay. So an acid mushroom and a... Yeah. And a bit of copper. Okay. Let's get, let's get out there and ex get exploring before it gets too dark. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, that's new. What was that noise? Not heard that before. Okay, it's getting dark. So let's look for some copper. Let's just swim down and see if we can see any deposits. I should be okay. There shouldn't be any predators in this area. Yeah, I strongly recommend this game, by the way. Or at least I did. I would five years ago. discovered. Okay. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven oh, survival yeah. strategy. There we go, quickly. Ah, dear. <laughs> again, once again, I'm reminded by that video that I, I mentioned. Um, the one by Folding Ideas, talking about this colonial mindset of, ah, we've arrived in a strange new world. Let's exploit its resources. <laughs> it's like... It's not... Oh, Batman. Hang on. Oh, yes, I can breathe if I stay over here, right? No? Ah, cool. Oh, no, there's those little bitey things that live in the caves. Stay the fuck away from them. Hmm. It's quite dark. It's pretty, though. Thank you. Yes, do you have a flag? No flag, no planet. These are the rules. I believe there is a flashlight, but I need to craft it. Aha, what have we got here? Debris from the Aurora. I think I can scan it, can I not? I'm looking for copper. Or titanium. Just bits of metal off the side of the surface. Did I just grab them? It's force. <laughs> I have played Satisfactory. Yes, indeed. I, I think I need to play more of it though, um, to really get a get a good grasp on it. I didn't. I felt. I, I know. I keep saying this. I I didn't feel like I, I played it enough to really. It, it felt like it was just kind of. It's still in the Factorio mold, and I didn't really see what was making it stand out. I didn't get far enough in it. Ooh. Cave system. <clears throat> Try not to bump into those biting things. That's one of them. Nope, stay away from that thing. Ah, limestone out from. There we go. is an essential component Copper. of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Okay. Oxygen. Up we go. Thank you, Trouble Bass. Thank you very much, Trouble. <laughs> ah, whoa, what the fuck? That is one crazy fast moving planet or moon. That's absurdly quick and that's absurdly close. <laughs> right. 
So maybe we're the moon. Maybe this planet is the moon. That is in we're orbiting. That's too close. There's no way this atmosphere would remain on the planet's surface. Hmm. Yeah, tidal forces should be totally fucking this planet over. Yeah, this is where I turn around and see like a fucking huge tidal wave straight out of interstellar. Right. Uh, resources. Electronics. Battery. Okay. New blueprint acquired. There we go. So, tools scanner. Detecting increased local radiation oh. levels. What? Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during Planet Four. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints. Thank you, Snoopy. Thank you. And to record alien biological data. Radiation just spikes. Something's happening to the core of the aurora. Calorie intake oh. recommended. Eat that nutrient block. Vital signs stabilizing. Is it going to happen now? Hmm. Thank you, Omniru and Ryan. Thank you sincerely, both of you. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens on a time limit after you arrive. Bladderfish food. Uh, it dehydrates you, though. Purple fungus, acidic flesh, filtered water. I'll drink some filtered water. Okay. So I've got the scanner. Pop that down there. Or I should have used the flare. <laughs> Did I just scan myself? Searching. Oh, no. Oh. Thank you, Fal Zuil. Thank you very much, Fal. Thank you. Ah, sunrise. Steam rising from the ocean over there. Look, volcanic activity, maybe? Mm. Right. Huh? Hi there, the Mook. Welcome indeed. Mm. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much, Jim. Self scan. Oh, I'm scanning myself. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Okay. Can I scan this thing? No. Let's have a look around. Ah. Indigenous life form. Acid mushroom. A common spore bearing. I can't breathe. <laughs> Hang on. Bubble, 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 bubble. Just wait here, should be able to. Oxygen. Yep. A common spore bearing fungi species, the flesh contains a highly acidic compound which, which leaches into the water if the outer skin is penetrated. It's not clear which predator species necessitated such extreme countermeasures, but the acid mushroom's numbers suggest it, is, it has successfully deterred most of them. Assessment inedible. Acid has applications in battery fabrication. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can scan life forms and find out find out, yeah, find out more about them. What the fuck was that? Yeah. Let's swim over here to the to the reef. Oh, hello. What are you then? Whoa! Pooing out angry angry pods. Gasopod. This might be Lulu. Oops. I see, that's the thing making that noise. Yeah. Creepy. I can't breathe, I'm going to drown. Okay. Right. Give it a quick save before I get myself killed. Fauna, herbivores, large, gasopods. 
A slow-moving life form, the, uh, and one of the larger herbivores on the planet, providing a substantial meal to would-be predators, the gastropod protects its domain by filling the surrounding water with poisonous and corrosive pods whose contents dissolve even synthetic fibers. Filtration system. Number one. Thick, non-reactive skin and multiple gill layers render this creature impervious to the toxic acid cloud it produces. Two. Algae gland. A bulbous sac-like appendage on the rear end. Uh, on the rear end, a luminous yellow algae grows inside the sac and produces the poisonous compound. Abdominal muscles can contract, causing the algae gland to emit a noxious compound into the surrounding area. Large pelvic fins, capable of pow powerful movement through the water when moving in small herds. Behaviour. Gasopods appear to be social in nature. They like cheese and... <laughs> Sorry, Mis misread that. Yes. Who likes cheese? Do you like cheese? Yes, you do. You do like cheese. Are you my good guy? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Um, gasopods appear to be social in nature and may even use their emissions in their relationship rituals. Their audible calls are likely signifiers of nearby threats or food sources. Approach with caution. Acidic pods may be retrieved and repurposed. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. Are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Huh? Who's a good dog? Who's my good dog? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Who's a good cat? Yeah. Who's a good cat? Right. Uh, hang on. I'm going to put me down. Good cat. Yeah. You're a good cat. We do have a treat for you. Bear with me. I'm going to the shop. Who's a good gal? Got a piece of duck. What's that? <laughs> no. There we go. Good gal. Right, cool. Okay, let's keep exploring. Oh. Okay, so the pods can be repurposed. Wasn't she naughty? Yes, indeed, but she can't remember that now. There's no point punishing her for something that her brain is too small to remember. Punishment with dogs needs to be immediate. So just after they've committed the thing that you don't want to reinforce. Uh, yeah, they can't... They don't have our abstract thinking skills. They, they can't be like, oh, I did something like an hour ago. <laughs> Stupid noise. What's that thing? Scan. Boomerang. Hello. New creature discovered. <laughs> no. How do I drop it? Oh no. There we go. I dropped it. Cool. Right. Boomerang. A herbivore encountered in large numbers, found to frequent shallow waters and move in shoals. Uh, serrated teeth suggests adaption for grinding corals other herbivores are unable to digest. Hang on. Twin fins, unusually, the species twin fin, a uh, two fins, are a cartilage, uh, sorry, cartilag, cartilag, inus, extent, sorry, I can't read that properly, my brain, extension of its skeleton, they are less prone to damage and provide superior propulsion, but are also harder to grow back, the bright blue tips are in fact the end of its digestive tract, where the luminescence of the corals it consumes is also, is most, most focused. Most active during the daylight hours, it is prone to flee on approach. The boomerang can be uh, more easily observed at night when its luminescence gives it away and it seeks the shelter of the seabed. Okay. Anyway, let's go get that, uh, go get the, the what is it, uh, uh, seaweed stuff. I need to get some silicon. It's over here. So I'm looking for pods. There they are. Now I do need to be careful because this place is frequented by predators. Ooh, volcanic activity. Quickly, 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 quickly. Let's go. Here we go, quick. 
Thank you, Albaneth. Thank you very much. Yep, got plenty. Let's go. Gonna take this back to the drop at the escape pod and try to make some fins so I can move faster through the water. Wreckage. Metal salvage. What's this thing? Creature egg. Ah. Could probably put those in the observation tank when I build a base. Beacon fragment. What's that? Oxygen. What does that mean? Hang on. Quickly, 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 quickly. Beacon fragment scanned. Overall progress 50%. Oh no, 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 don't die. Oh fuck. Oh, piss flaps. Oh dear. I was too slow on the swim. Oops. My bad. I died and lost some belongings. Oh really? Ah. Oh. <laughs> really? That's what happens when you die? You lose some belongings? He's laughing at me. Oops. Thank you, Gibbo. Thank you very much. Hi, Cake! Cake's in the chat, everyone. I lose everything I picked up since I last left the pod. I don't, I don't think that's true, because I, I still got the creature egg. There's another one here, look. <sighs> right. So we'll swim to the surface, go get the... Uh, silicon then swim back <laughs> use the fire extinguisher uh, fire extinguisher as a jetpack is that a thing <laughs> so he's just fucking with me oh wow <laughs> you're not fucking with me oh shit predator 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 Whoa. on this planet grows in unusually distinct and mm. diverse ecological biomes. Further study or recommended. So yes, there are distinct biomes across this world and the life forms will change quite dramatically uh, along with your, I suppose, how, how you should conduct yourself. Certain areas like that will have fast moving predators that are fairly difficult to evade. This is the safe zone though. Well, not really a safe zone, but not many predators here unless you go poking through caves. Charming. That's the pod. There it is. Oxygen. Okay. Let's have a look then. Resources, basic materials, lubricant. Uh, no, I'd like. There we go, silicon rubber. So I'm extracting silicon from these seed clusters. Do it. How many times do we need to do it? Just the once? Air bladder, emergency flotation device. Oh, really? Fins, here we go. The fabricator draws from available data oh, holy to shit. provide environment appropriate equipment. Using locally mm. available materials. Thank you, uh, Leviathan. Thank quickly. you very much. It was a sub bomb. Thank you. Really appreciate it, Leviathan. Thank you for your kindness, sir. Thank you very much. Hmm. Thank you. And the unchained before that. Thank you. Also, could you bear with me just a second? I fancy. I'm just going to go to the wee. Uh, go for a wee wee. Hang on. Back in a moment. There might be a light show.
Did it happen? I don't think so. Any radiation spikes detected? Let's have a quick look at the log. Nope. No, radi no radiation spikes detected yet. Okay. Right. Thank you, Prank. Thank you very much, Prank. Thank you. Hmm. Some debris over there. And go and explore it. Yeah, some steam rising from the ocean. Volcanic in nature. That might be land. Not sure. Okay. So, blueprints. What's this here? Sorry. Ah. Oh, Lulu. Ah, she's scratching herself. She just squeaked, I guess. She just hurt herself. Mm. What are you doing, honey bunny? Mm. She's fine. Um, okay, so basic materials. So this is what we can make. Computer chips, wiring kits, cooked bladderfish, cooked boomerang, fins, first aid kits, standard O2 tank might be useful. We need more titanium. Flashlight, survival knife, we're definitely going to need that. Flares, air bladder. Waterproof locker. Small storage solution that maintains position in the water. Okay. Ah, so these, this is for base building. Right. Um, I don't know, Selamesh. I don't know what that is, sorry. Right. <gasps> Jump back into the water. Let's keep looking for resources. So, do I have the fins equipped? Bear with. I do. So, translates vertical limb movements underwater into forward thrust. How much forward thrust? Enhances speed by 15%. Okay. Later on, we'll be able to find even more, well, higher tech solutions. Thank you, Altvich. Thank you very much, sir. Let's quickly skim through the caves. Oh, another creature's egg. Quartz. Need to be a little bit careful because some of the local creatures get a bit arsy when their territory is. Yeah, there we go. Sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component. Of the repair tool. Okay. Ah. Can I grab this? Nope, that's. Can't do anything with that. Oh, look, Leviathans. Oh. Leviathans? No, the um, fucking reef backs. Well, they are Leviathans in the sense of giant sea Leviathans. Oh, whoa, it's one of those. Holy shit. I didn't realize they'd be at this depth. They're normally quite deep. It's a sand shark whatever they're called. They swim around the sand. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid noise they're giving them. Can't see shit. Ooh, hello, see? Wow. Yeah, I'm surprised that they're, they're this high. What on earth? Why are you swimming like that? Okay. Right. Oxygen. I require oxygen, please. Please. Thank you. Okay, so I'm looking for some... Yeah, I'm just looking for metal. Oh, did I take that scrap, scrap metal and properly process it? I don't think I did. Maybe I lost it. I went unconscious, didn't I? Shit. And see what we can find. There we go. Metal salvage. So yeah, if you're just joining the stream, welcome. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, yeah, today's been busy. Uh, two fire alarms, false alarms, but... I beg your pardon? Let's get in here. Fabricator resources. Whoopsie. Basic materials, titanium. Ah, times four. We'll have that. Okay. Uh, silicon rubber. Yeah, may as well get some glass with this quartz. Any tips for someone who might be going into quality assurance? Ah, uh, training. Uh, train as much as you can. There are plenty of courses that you can do. You can buy or ask your employer to buy you lots of textbooks to read. There's plenty of them now. Hmm. Right, lubrication. Make silicon for now.
Um, yes, actually, heart, but I'm just used to it now. Oh. Continue to Here we go. The Aurora's drive call may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Oh no, just a warning. So yeah, something's about to happen to the Aurora. Well, there's more to it than that, uh, Deepru. Uh, the the role of a, of a, of quality assurance has really evolved over time, over the last well, over the last ten years in particular. Yes, I mean that ca does still happen, where quality assurance is at the end of the process, where you have lots of people with lots of machine, well, lots of uh, either emulators of the game or actual machines running the game. But a lot of the time now, the quality assurance is front loaded, so the actual QA analysts are in with the teams who uh, are, well, making the game itself. So you have people writing test cases specifically to cover, um, well, whatever's whatever's being made, whatever ticket is being worked on at that particular moment. And what you try to do is you try to automate as much as you can, so you don't have to do, do it all, you don't have to manually test everything in one huge system test. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. So, yeah, don't think of testing these days as, ah, you know, you test at the end of the process. No, no, you test right from... Hell, you start the testing before the first line of code is even written. I'm not even joking. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you very much, Jackie. Standard O2 tank. Ooh. I've already got the fins. Near blueprint acquired. Okay. Let's have a look then. Inventory, O2, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Blueprints. How can I tell what's new? Ah. Standard O2 tank, high capacity. An upgrade. Silver ore, titanium, and take the standard tank. Okay. Just need to look for silver ore. Food? Am I hungry? I seem to be hungry. Let's eat. Do I have like a... This is not much food for a survival situation. What if you landed it on, on a like a moon with no vacuum, uh, like a, a moon with no atmosphere? You'd be stuffed, wouldn't you? No food out there to go and retrieve. Yeah, you pretty much die. Okay, let's just put some of this here in storage. Creature eggs, storage. Acid mushrooms in storage. Thank you, um, Tor of Doi. Thank you very much, Tor of Doi. That's what the bodies of the rest of the crew of forces pay. You. <laughs> okay, well, we have an O2 tank, so we can go a bit further. Yeah, we can stay underwater for longer. Uh, wait, sorry, can I get that knife? And I need to look out for things for the repair tool, right? Knife, repair tool, cave sulfur. That's where we're going next. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Right. Hang on. No? How does one do that? Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, honey. Yeah, the dog's fine. Give another save. Drop back into the water. Keep this with me just in case. Huh? And... Let's have a look then. You calm down, sir. So we're looking for some sulfur for the repair tool. If we can get the repair tool going, we can fix the radio. And hopefully send out a distress signal. Those things don't like me. Ah. Copper. Let's go deeper. Quartz, maybe? Yep, just quartz. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. What do you look like? Am I 
is blind. More scrap metal. We'll grab that. Quite deep now. Salt deposit. We don't have what's necessary to mine that. 30 seconds. Okay. Try a different cave. Yeah, try a different cave entrance. Just keep exploring, keep looking for caves. Need more air. Down we go. Indeed, I did try the. I did briefly try Subnautica in VR at the start of 2019. I got very sick very quickly. I got so nauseous. Yeah. Ah, titanium. I love that. Another creature egg. Ah, what's that? Look. Copper. Titanium, quartz, lead, silver. silver ah. kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Now we can get a better O2 tank. Thank you, Prey. Thank you very much, Prey. Should I grab one of these? Shuttlebug. I thought these were hostile. Shuttlebug. Tell me about the shuttlebug. A common scavenger at the base of the food chain. Number one, mouth parts. Small enough to be of little threat to most organisms, this creature is clearly adapted to feed on the waste products of the ecosystem around it. Three mandibles used to orientate themselves when drifting and to filter through the detritus on the cave floors. And three legs, high strength muscles can propel the life form great distances through the water as well as ambulate them across the sea floor. Ambulating them. Ambulating. Okay. Yeah. Scavengers looking for dead things. Fair enough. Thank you. Oh, hello. Uh, lava tube, maybe. Wicked, I am aware. I've played through this game pretty much all the way through. Yeah. More creature eggs. If I can get the aquarium built inside the base, when I, I well, eventually when I have it, we'll be able to stop pilot, well, put lots of species in there, like trophies. Swim faster with empty hands. I don't know, sorry. I don't think so. I don't remember that being the case. There's the pod. So we're looking for sulfur. I need to find more caves. Maybe we should go towards that volcanic activity. Oh shit, that ah, fuck those other things. Go away, you little bastard! I hate those things. Ugh. Crazy. Get away! Happy little suicide bombers. I see, it's inside them. It's inside their pods. Sulfur plant. Let's have a look. Anywhere I can rest? Go to the surface again. 
<laughs> yeah, merry little suicide bombers. Um, exploitables. So, sulfur plant. These plants appear to serve as nests for the explosive organisms that guard them. The outer petals are undamaged by the presence of the in inhabiting creature, suggesting a complex co-development. The plant has evolved to feed on nutrients and minerals deposited within it by the fish. Sulfuric deposits on the inner leaves provide an insight into the mechanism by which the creature explodes. Mm. Okay. Let's head back then. We've got some sulfur. Let's get the repair tool, get the radio operational, and then try to call for help. There we go. I don't remember there being hands before. Okay. Equipment. Repair tool. Here we go. Take the repair tool. Don't poke it. <sighs> right. Radio. Play message. Oh. Emergency. Radio emergency okay. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay. So that was the Aurora automated system, so the ship itself over there. That's not going to be of much help to me. Hmm. Seek fluid intake. Whoops. Hang on a minute. Let's have a drink. Pop downstairs for a second. Grab one of the drinks I've got in storage. I'm going to need to find some locally in the environment next. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Right. Oh no, wait, sorry. There's another thing I can repair. Let's have a look. Repair this. What's this then? Lifepod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Okay. Nice. Air filtration's been fixed. Pods operational. Okay. Data bank. Here we go. Geological data. This is the name of the planet. 4546B environmental scan. Category 3 ocean planet. Oxygen, nitrogen atmosphere. Extensive biodiversity. Safety warnings. May support Leviathan class predators. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue is unlikely. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. Shit. Okay. Advanced theories. Alien egg. Evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all, of the local species reproduce through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the seafloor, buried beneath detritus, or even wedged into cracks in the rocks. Different species likely favour different biomes as their nesting grounds. Eggs discovered in the wild are in some form of natural stasis, likely awaiting ideal conditions in which to hatch or the delivery of some vital enzyme which will kickstart the process. It is impossible to calculate the species of the egg from the exterior. However, it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. Okay. So yes, that's just saying that we can bring these eggs back and get little, effectively, vanity pets when we get our base. Thank you, Palestine and Fultz. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. We'll pop them in the container for now. Yeah. Thank you, Jermaine. Thank you very much, Jermaine. Thank you. What do you want, Sweet Pea? Why are you trying to get my attention? Hmm? What do you want? You just want another treat, don't you? Boop. Yes. Yeah, she's happy. Mm. 
Right. Okay then. Uh, food and water might need to be a bit of a priority. Um, what's this? Metal salvage. Let's get the titanium from this. Resources. Basic titanium. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Or did I? No, I did. Thank you, stupid man. Thank you very much. Uh, no, no, Frenchie, Kaiser. So you can tell it's a Frenchie because of the big radar ears, and also Frenchies are generally less fucked up in the face. So pugs, they, they've got the huge bug eyes and the squashed noses. They have the squashed noses, sure, but they're not as... You'll, you, you'll be able to tell. You'll see a pug and you'll see a Frenchie and be like, ah. Frenchies are miniature bulldogs, but they're not like huge squashed fucked up face. Yeah, oh yeah, still yeah, still inbred as fuck. Congratulations, Survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. <laughs> Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. <laughs> Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Yeah. Do you, know, do you know what I think they really should have done? Maybe I'm biased, but they really should have gotten like a, a deadpan British comic to do that voice. Like, um, you, you ever play Startopia? You know Val, the guy who does the voice of Val? Just someone who's... He, it's very Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's just like, it's someone who's just... N like, so they sound bored whenever they're reading out important survival stuff in a, in a deadpan British voice. I think it would have been perfect. I think, I think they missed a trick. Yeah, or like, you know, fucking get like a proper comedian like Stephen Fry or something to read it. Yeah, if, yeah, or like Stephen, Stephen Merchant or something. There's, there's something, just the dry, the dry wit of a British comic, I think, would have sorted, you know, worked well. Copper wire, titanium. Um, ti oh, I see, I can make the actual ingot. Uh, okay. Let's get the upgraded, hang on, where's the upgraded tank? Now that, now that I've got a bit of silver. So here we go, standard O2 tank. Standard O2, oh, do I need to make a new one? I think I need to make a new one. Can't I just take off the one on my back? Hold up. There we go, just take that off. No? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Thank you, Marshall Guy. Thank you very much, Marshall. Cool. High capacity O2 tank, 90 seconds of oxygen. Sweet. Okay then. So now what do I do? Radios work. Oh, here we go. Status okay. Secondary systems are online. Outgoing radio communication is offline. Incoming radio communication is online. Flotation device is deployed. Hull integrity is, o hull, uh, hull integrity is okay. Environment. Uncharted ocean planet. 4546B. Hold the phone. Bladderfish. Which is the one with the water intake? Sustenance, cooked fish, water. Ah, here we go. Filtered water through the bladderfish. Don't know where the bottle came from, but at this point, I'm not questioning it. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. Find more bladderfish. Oh, rotten cooked peeper. Ugh. No, thank you. Okay. Hmm. Alright then. Let's go, just go get some more water. Damn, could do with the torch. Never mind. Have to do. I've got the flare though, haven't I? Oh, yeah, chuck it. Great. Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. Right, let's find some fish. Hang on a minute. Grab you. Hello, Peeper. Hello, Peeper. Looking for some bladder fish. Well, they have water. Warning. Oh. Local radiation oh. readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Oh no. Bladder fish, bladder fish, bladder fish. Anyone see any of them? Ah, there's a couple. Come here, bladder fish. Thank you. Ah, good, they glow at night. That's gonna be helpful. Just gonna 
gonna grab a few of these for a source of water. Thank you. Okay, for the people joining the stream, welcome to Subnautica, where we're playing as the sole survivor of some sort of, well, unspecified incident. Some, some crash has occurred, although the ship was exploding on its way down. Maybe that's just going through re-entry, but something horrible has happened to the ship that we were, we were on. Oh. And we are trying to survive. Okay. Let's have a look then. Filtered water. Just make a few of these and put them in storage. Basic materials, sustenance. So get some filtered water, get the fish processed before it rots. Okay. Cooked fish, cooked peeper. Uh, co yeah, cook the peepers, keep the bladder fish as water. Really, the cooked fish rots. Does it really? Ah, rotten cooked peeper. I see. My mistake. Okay, it's just I kept it and didn't eat it. All right. Let's put let's put one in storage anyway. See if it does rot when it's in there. Okay, get rid of the rotten one. Hang on. We could always just grab more. Keep that with me. Okay. What's that there? Sorry. A radio icon. Hello. Thank you, Chef Henry. Thank you very much, Chef. I see. Let's do that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's a flying thing. Oh, wow. There weren't flying things before, were there? I don't remember there being flying things. Sky ray. Indigenous life form. A sky ray. A sky ray has a bird-like head and feathered wings which enable it to fly. Sky rays are commonly found circling floating structures and rarely venture far out to sea. They will perch on dry land but are prone to flee on approach. I don't know if I do remember these. Yeah. Wings. Although its wings will give it the resemblance in silhouette, silhouette to the waterborne rays on 4546b, analysis shows no greater genetic overlap with those species than the planetary average. In fact, the sky rays appear to have split off the evolutionary tree much earlier than most. Diet. Largely, largely seed-based. Sky rays have uh, not been observed diving for food, which implies they rely on land-based plants for their survival. Presence may indicate nearby dry land. Indeed. Indeed. Uh. Okay. Okay. <coughs> just, just perching in mid. Yep. Just, just, just perching in midair. Are we? Okay. Yep. Carry on. Just, just, just chilling. Weird. Is this thing going to go boom or not? I think it goes boom if you go close. As a sort of, don't do that, boom. Ooh, rebreather. Conserve oxygen when diving deeper. Absorbs and recycles CO2 into, into breathable air. Yeah. Beacon. Ingredients unknown. Okay. Ah, I see. That's the, yeah, I, I get it. So hang on. I was able to scan, so previously you would scan like little boxes, wouldn't you? So you now, you now have to scan the individual specific items? A beacon. Ah, okay. Cool. Right, let's get back into the water then. <gasps> Out of my way. So let's have a look around. I don't want to go too deep because obviously the aurora. Hmm. 
One moment, sorry. Voice log, photo management, beacon management, blueprints. Pumps air into pipes, acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. What's that? Just looking to see habitat builder. Computer chip, wiring chip, battery. Gary fish. <laughs> oh. Slow moving, curious herbivore. Oh. Camouflage indicates adaption for evasive behavior on the ocean floor. And I. Bleh! Don't you poo on me. Charming. Kelp forest. Ooh, ouch, ouchy, ouchy, ouchy. Those little biting bastards. Fuck off. At least it's not one of the big ones. Ah, cut creek vine with the knife. Creek vine sample. Yeah. Food, I can eat it. You can piss off. Nobbit. And the creep vine. Thank you, Pyromancer Blue. Thank you. Swim up for a second, unless there's an oxygen source nearby. There might be. I saw one down here. There's one. Oh, there's floating things. Hello. Thirty seconds. Seconds. Should be okay, right? Yeah. Okay. What have we got then? Old creek vine sample. Blueprints. Short range Whoop. scans suggest this biome supports extensive biome diversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. What, the red grass one? Ah. Data bank. Creep vine. A kelp species concentrated in large forests in shallow sandy waters. Loose roots anchor the plants of the sea floor from where it grows steadily towards the surface in pursuit of sunlight. The stem is fibrous and rich in iron, making it both a viable base material for fabrication of textiles as well as basic foodstuffs. So vital alien resource, edible construction application. Okay, good to know. Let's scan one of the... Uh, these giant leviathan things. Ooh, more of the wreckage from the aurora. No? Need to get really close. There we go. Reef back. Trippy. Indigenous life form, a reef back, a reef back leviathan. Leviathans. This vast life form is in excess of 30 meters long and has been designated a leviathan class. Fortunately, it feeds exclusively on plankton-like life forms in the water. Is it chitinous or chitinous? Chitinous. I'm going to go with shell. Most of the life form's top side is some sort of, uh, and some of its underside is protected by a thick layer exoskeleton. This suggests an evolutionary path quite different from other organisms on 4546b, most of which are vertebrate, vertebrate in nature. The reefback species has likely been able to grow far larger than other herbivores, because anything large enough to break through its shell has long since gone extinct. Enzyme pods, where? Underneath these things. Yeah. Similar in appearance to the algae glands of the gasopods, these organs on the reefback's underside serve some unknown purpose in its digestive system. They are capable of expelling small quantities of stomach enzyme into the surrounding waters. Ooh. What's that? Number three. These 
these things following it. Local microcosm. An array of different barnacles and plant species grow on the reef back shell, thrusting their roots into the ancient scars in the chitin and taking advantage of their mobility to avoid predation. Nonetheless, reef backs will often be pursued by faster, hungrier herbivores, and thus this leviathan, this leviathan species is a mobile microcosm worthy of years of study in itself. Life cycle. Reef, reef back life cycle likely extends through many centuries should they survive their initial growth cycle. For the first few decades, their smaller size would make them vulnerable to carnivorous leviathans. Sociable, seen traveling in small ponds and communicating by echo calling, behavior is consistent with low-level sentience. Hmm. Assessment. Harbors plants, small fish, and metal-rich barnacles. Really? Metal-rich barnacles? Interesting. Save. Come back. Terrifying. Oh wow, oh, look at that. It's something wobbling on its bum, on its back. Ow, it's shooting shit at me. Owie, 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 owie. Do you mind? Okay. Creatures living on its back, not happy. Oh wow, it even supports. Oh, I didn't know this before. It actually, it's actually got normal parts on its back. Tiger plant, hold up. Tiger plant shooting barbs at me. Ouchie. Cool though. Okay. Blueprints, log, tiger plant. Hmm. <laughs> what do you want, sweetie? I've currently got a French bulldog trying to jump up at me. What do you want? Huh? Are you a good girl? Lulu, come here. Hmm? What do you want? Why are you being all clingy? She's being clingy. Bear with me. Why are you being clingy? What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? I think she just wants food. You want food or cuddles? What do you want? Huh? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. 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 That's right. You get a bum rub. Yeah. You get a bum rub? What do you want? See what she does. Hang on. I'm not touching you. What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? <laughs> she can't decide what she wants. Hmm? Are you inbred? Are you hideously inbred? Yes, you are. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, hi, gorgeous. Yeah. No, oh, she just wants attention. Yeah. Okay. Right. You gotta sit still, though. Whoop. Whoa. I'm a bit further back from the mic now. I'm afraid. Okay. Hmm. You gonna stream with me? Is that what you're doing? You gonna stream with me? Okay. Right. Are you standing on the mouse map? Hello. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred uh. in the Aurora's drive uh. core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus ten, uh. nine, uh. eight, seven, six, uh. five, four, three, Shit. two. Blueprint data. <laughs> <laughs> to my convenience. Okay. So the Aurora's drive core has exploded, covering the area in a light dusting of radioactive material. And I imagine in the drive core area itself, an absolute fuck ton of it. Great. 
Yeah, the front fell off. Cheers. Let's have a look then. Blueprints. Da, 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 da. Pathfinder tool. What's this? Deploys holographic pathfinder discs used to map the way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Oh, interesting. Okay, there's a whole load of new stuff. Hmm. Where's the suit then? Presumably I'll need that if I'm to go anywhere near the Aurora. A lead-lined suit providing insulation from radiation. A fibre mesh and lead. Times two. What does it take to make a fibre mesh? Oh really, just creep vine samples. Should be fairly straightforward to do then. I've already found the lead, or at least one piece of lead. Okay. Right. What's next then? Hang on. <laughs> Rebreather? Could be a good idea, yeah. Where is it? <laughs> Sorry. This dog is climbing all over me. Hmm? What do you want? <laughs> We're trying to lick my mouth. What do you want? That's the microphone. Yes. Why are you, why are you being happy? Why are you being happy? Huh? Why are you happy? You happy? Yes. Who's being a good girl? Yeah. No. Hmm? What's that? What's that? <laughs> uh, she's squirming. So, so she doesn't have a tail that she can wag. So instead she's, she's wagging her bum. She's squirming on the spot. Wagging her bum and trying to lick my face. Hmm? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Right. Here's what we're going to do. So... We're gonna we're gonna throw treats on the sofa and see how many treats it takes to get her off my lap onto the sofa. So what's the limit? Let's have a look. So how so this is how much she loves me, okay? So does she so does she love me more than one duck treat? Okay. <laughs> it's immediate. She <laughs> She gets like, fuck that shit. Fuck this lap, I'm out of here. There's a duck treat. Right, okay. Cheers, Lulu, appreciate it. Ah, great. Ah, a stomach with legs. That's what she is. Okay, rebreather. Find wiring kit and fibre mesh. Wiring kit. Silver ore. Okay, then. Let's have a look for some silver ore, then. Down we go. Go here. Basic materials. Fibre mesh. Okay. Fibre mesh. Uh, glass, may as well process the quartz. Radio go beep boop. Radio go beep boop. Play message. Receiving pre recorded distress call oh. laying back. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Another survivor? Signal location uploaded to PDA. Holy crap. I was unaware that, that anyone else survived. This was normally a single player thing. As in, sole survivor. Holy shit. Another survivor. Okay. Thank you, Joker Knox. Thank you very much. Over there. Life pod 3, shallows. Crew report their sea glide damaged at 365 meters. Ah. Holy crap. Cool. Right. Disinfected water. Uh, oh, wait. These are just blueprints, not what I have. Fiber mesh. So we need to go find some silver. And some lead. Bloody dark. What's that light source? The flare? Is it still flaring? Huh. Hang on. One minute. 
resources, personal tools, scanner, repair tool, flashlight, battery. Can I make a battery? Equipment, resources, electronics, copper wire, no. Oh, I've got acid mushrooms though. Hang on. Whoop. Pick up one of these. Where are they? Here they are. Oh yeah, old cooked peeper. Resources, battery. There we go. Equipment. First aid kit, fire extinguisher, flashlight, torch even. This isn't America, this is Space Britain. It's a colony ship, I've, I've made that up. I say it's a colony ship, therefore it's Space Britain. That's better. Yeah, of course, the first thing everyone does is shine the torch in their eyes. Thank you, Mr. Zapangu. Thank you very much, mister. Start heading in that direction then. Over for just random fish. Should be able to eat them raw, but it'll make me dehydrated. Volcanic activity. Thank you, Archeon. Thank you very much, Archeon. by random bits of debris. Just be quick about it. Oh. That's not a good sign. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. That is a very bad sign. How old was that message? Still being transmitted though, even though they're underwater? My own O2, I best be careful. Let's get to the surface, hang on. But this looks old, I mean, hang on. The crash only happened a few. It doesn't look fresh. It looks like it's been down here for some time. Holy shit, it's been completely ripped up. Maybe the Predators took, got the flotation device. Screwed off. Integrating new PDA data. Does it play automatically? Receiving pre-recorded no distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Oh. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Sea glide, maybe they made it. Transportation, maybe they just left the pod behind. Compass. New blueprint acquired. What's this? Metal salvage, blueprint, voice log, data bank. What have I just found? Wait. Life pod, blueprints, radiation suit repair tool. What have I just found? Compass. Displays compass heading on the HUD. Hang on. Sea glide fragment. Let's find another one. They might still be alive. They might have just moved. Um, what's that thing? Ah, fish. Hello. New creature discovered. Of a fish. Yoink. New creature discovered.
Anything else worth grabbing here? More or less identical to my one. Data bank, equipment, radiation suit. Here we go. Ah. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. Seek fluid intake. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. Okay. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Foreign bacteria? What does that mean? Okay, so they left their pod behind. They might still be okay. Right. Any other pieces of a sea glide that I can scan for? The guy was hoping that the whole thing wouldn't overload a few meters from the pod. Salt deposit. Grab that. Okay. Another one over here. Yeah. Anything else from here, sorry? So Aurora Survivors data download, geological data, equipment, radiation suit, yes I'm aware. Uh fish, hoverfish. Tiger plants. Okay. I'm just wondering if I should have found the second piece of the... Hang on. The blueprint. Compass. Displays compass heading on the HUD. Did I get data on where they went? Which direction they went? I should try and build one of these. Copper wire. Get back to the thing. So, wiring kit. Yeah. Wiring kit is where... So silver, need to look for some silver. Okay. Sea glide, ingredients unknown. What's my opinion about the game? Oh yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, much has changed though. I played it five years ago, back when it first came out. It was very cool indeed. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Saw every biome, saw all the little secrets. I always hated these fuckers. Go away. Go away. <laughs> piss off. Piss off. Piss off. Piss off. Piss off. More important things right now. Like bitey bastard. Thank you. Right. Off. Right. So I need to look for some silver. Titanium. Let's get back to the pod. <laughs> I'm cooler than Tinker, but he screams a lot. Well, my first playthrough was unnerving. I can assure you that I was. I was terrified to get into the water at night. I wouldn't do it. I was like, fuck that, I'm going back to the pod. And whenever I got to a deep bit, I was like, Ugh. Right. Thank you, Swag on Ice. Thank you very much, Swag on. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Stop trying to poo on me. Why is he still following me? Poo on him. Hang on. That's it. Yeah, now what do you think of it? <laughs> I've never seen one of these things follow me this far.
Yeah, he's fucking off. Ah, okay. Back to the pod. Welcome, Salazar. Welcome indeed. Uh, don't worry too much. I'm um, sorry. Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, please don't give spoilers as best you can. But at the same time, I need to. You need to bear in mind the fact that the chat is screaming so many different things in so many different ways, and off time. Well, often you guys are just so wrong. It's hilarious that you kind of tune it out. Tune it out over time, to the point that I can't tell who's speaking truth and who's just bullshitting. Quickly, need to get back and get one of these bladder fish. Don't I have? I've got one on me, don't I? Yeah, I've got one on me. Love this. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. Titanium sustenance. There we go. Um. So what's this hoverfish then? Fish hoverfish cured food. Ah, the crispy, salty legs of the highlight. Dehydrating, but it keeps you well fed. Yes. Okay. Seek fluid intake. This fish fish actually tastes like fish. <laughs> okay. So, unsurprising. So, what the fuck? Hang on a second. I'm looking at my curtain. Whoa, it's pissing it down. Crazy. Yikes. Ooh. Thank you, um, uh, all... Sorry. All a trin. Thank you, all a trin. Thank you very much. Uh. Right. Cooked hoverfish. Why not? Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. Uh huh. Okay. Never eat the antennae. Antennae. Okay. Why not? Vital signs stabilizing. Seek fluid intake. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. Decomposing cooked peeper. All right then. So it looks like I can't store them long term. Right. Ah, oh, medkit fabricator. Oh wow. Free medkits. That's cool. Let's go get some more bladder fish. The hydration. <gasps> Whoop. Let's find some. Where are they? <laughs> Easier to spot at night. See some over there, though. Oh, whoop. Thank you. These. So yeah, hope everyone's well. Oh, is that a radio transmission? Have we just received a message? Seek fluid intake. Did I receive it here? Uh, might as well, might as well grab lots of different fish to eat. Make sure we've got full hunger. Inventory, oh, inventory full. Oh yeah, okay. I'll drop some of this off. Why is my make kit fabricated green? You remember it is always being red. Mm, I don't know. Right. Let's get back in. For the people joining the stream, welcome indeed. Okay. Drop off some of this. Drop off a little bit of titanium. Um, metal salvage, I can turn that into more titanium. Just to get it out of my inventory. Sorry, what's this? Compass. Copper wire. Okay. Let's just get the food sorted first. Okay. How is my index compared to the Vive? Much better, Jens. Holy shit. It's really very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay. 
Lots of titanium. Yep, we'll get that all stored. Or maybe turn it into the ingots. Hang on. Turn a couple of them into the ingots. Nice. Oh, times ten. Whoops. I thought it was times four. Okay. Electronics, copper wire. And then can we make the wiring kit? No, we need silver, don't we? Okay. Yeah, the radio's beeping. Okay, drink this water. Vital signs stabilizing. And chuck that peeper out in a second. So what's this? This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. We can receive, but we can't send. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay, cool. So at least there's someone out there. Ah. Holy shit. Okay. The game isn't as uh, isn't as lonely as I remember. So there are actually people out there. Okay. Yeah, sweet. What's this? Repair tool. Hang on to that. What now then? The compass. Let's try and make the compass. Tools. Flares, air bladder, pathfinder tool for caves and stuff. Okay. Uh, no equipment. Fire extinguisher, rebreather, radiation suit. Uh, compass. Here we go. Wiring kit. So we're going to need some silver. Okay then. Wire. Oh, hang on. Yeah, silver. Uh, get a bit more lead, and I can make a radiation suit. How am I doing in terms of? Infected? What does that mean, infected? Infected with what? Treat bandages, apply blood flow. COVID? Better not be. Oh no, it was a cruise ship. Oh dear. I was dumb enough to go on a cruise ship during the pandemic. Now I've caught COVID. Space COVID. What the fuck? These bird things flapping around. Look at them majestically soaring through the air. Ah, so majestic. Ah, uh, okay. Look at them just perch in place in, in thin air. Okay, Ma very majestic. Right, okay. Huh. Huh? Looking at the time, folks, I'm afraid I do need to wrap this up momentarily. Apologies, it's just I've got lots to edit. I need to crack on with it, you know. Pardon you. Um, okay, so... Oh, stream lagging? Oh no, is my connection dying? Can I drop these? Did the stream go spacky for a minute there? Hang on. So let's go deeper. Let's see what we can find down here at 82 meters. A bit of salt. Bash that with the with the torch. Yes. Thank you, Ben. Thank you very much, Ben. Ah. Oh look. Laser cutter fragment. Ah, okay. One of three. 
another piece of equipment. Any more sources of oxygen? Some gold, cool. It's a leviathan somewhere above us in the water. What's that shark doing? Shit, hold up, there it is. Just need to make sure that I know where the oxygen is, otherwise I'll have to resurface quickly. Hang on. Collecting the oxygen. Oh, speed fish. No? Uh. careful of those kelp fields over there. Predators. Then again, there are predators here. And those little bitey buggers. Thank you, Riptor. Thank you very much, Riptor. Thank you kindly. And Leverose. Thank you, Leverose. Thank you. So we're now at 100 meters. A nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Big leviathans. Any source of oxygen nearby? Maybe in the cave? Let me give it a save before I get myself killed. Oh, it does go very deep. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Deep indeed. Deep indeed. Uh, I need to be a bit careful because I'm going to drown without an alternate source of oxygen. If I had the sea moth, I'd be able to go deeper. A small submersible. At the minute, I just need to kind of skim across the surface. Be a bit careful. There we go. What is a leviathan? It just means a large sea creature. So over there is a large sea creature, a plankton eating leviathan. There are much larger ones around the back well, around the back of the Aurora. There are some very, very loud and very, very buggy leviathans, predatory ones that keep skimming. Yeah, they, they weren't very well done back five years ago. They would uh, co constantly glitch out and, and clip into objects. I felt that it undid the terror of them quite significantly, because they'd be like, oh shit, that's scary, followed by, oh, it's stuck in the wall again. They're streamlined now? Good. I always felt it, yeah, it was very, very buggy. I don't think I ever I don't think I ever saw one of those and they weren't just spazzing out into an object. So I'm looking for some silver. I found some gold. Bugger off. Hmm. Ah, these floating jellyfish things clinging to the rocks. Oh they look they look different. Uh, be used for anything now? Composed of multiple organisms in symbiosis. Life cycle unknown. So previously you'd stick these to, to like... Uh, <laughs> stick these to other creatures and watch them float. Hang on. <laughs> hey! Did I get him? <laughs> He's like, fuck, get it off, get it off. Ah, <laughs> oh, missed. Oh no, what's it doing? It's trying to stick on itself. 
What? It's a flotation device. I'm helping him float. Right. Hang on. Where's some oxygen? Over here. <laughs> sea bully. A little bit. Those sharks are annoying. Bye. Seek fluid intake. Okay. Okay then. So I'm looking for some silver. Maybe I should try the forest biome. I did find a little bit over there, didn't I? Just a little bit though. Oh, another radio transmission. Blimey. Passing 100 oh, meters. Oxygen efficiency Radiation decreased. detected. I'll need a suit. Thank you, Meatball. Thank you very much. Damn. Let's not fuck with that. Yeah, we'll head over to the forest biome. Thank you sincerely. Thank you very much. Just watch out for the predators. We need to get some food and water. Copper. Oh, useful. Now I can make the radiation suit. Titanium. Be advised, Silver. A common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. <laughs> okay. No, no further advice, just... Be advised, people in caves tend to die. Nice. Silver, silver, silver. Indeed, cave diving is incredibly dangerous. It's quite easy, or at least so I've read, to stir up the silt at the bottom of a cave. And then just visibility just drops to nothing. silver let's go back so I'm gonna go back and try to make the radiation suit and then I'll, I'll probably leave it and then go and get on with work today if that's all right sorry folks it's just I've got lots to edit and I really want to get this video done Seek fluid intake immediately. let's look for some food as well got three slots in the inventory let's find two bladder fish and a peeper Pod. Let's grab that one. Thank you. And there's a bladder fish. No, that's not what I wanted. You, you piss off. Hang on. Rotten peeper. Drag you go away. Charming. Bladder fish, bladder fish, bladder fish. Bladder fish. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Reaping and the Dirty Heretic. Thank you, thank you sincerely, both of you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Walker. Thank you very much. Sustenance, water, filtered water. There we go. Cook 
cooked food, Calories cooked people. There we go. Nice. Vital signs stabilizing. Cool. We could probably do with some more food. Let's check the radio message. Who sent us a message? Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. Ah. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Nice. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. That's okay, if you can't land, just send the transmission back to the Federation or whatever. Don't risk your own ship. They'll send out a dedicated rescue crew. Thank you, Robinson. Thank you very much, Robinson. Then again, we can't talk to them, so... Yeah. Right. Okay. So, oh yes, back to the fabricator. Resources, electronics, wiring kit. Oh, damn. Two silver ore apiece. Bollocks. Okay, hold up. Tools. Rebreather. Oh, hang on. Now we can make so make the radiation suit. A lead-lined suit, so we can travel in the areas with radiation. Hi there, Jay. Welcome indeed, Jay. Am I wearing it? Oh, yes I am. There it is. Radiation suit, lead-lined. Okay. Radiation gloves, lead-lined. Okay. Compass. Compass. Displays compass heading on the HUD. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Survival package. What's this? Blueprint database corrupted. Oh no. Need to salvage technologies using using the handheld scanner. Okay. Leviathans. Okay. So we don't know which direction they went in. Hope they're okay. <laughs> Thank you, Magical. Thank you very much. Ah, there we go. We now have a compass at the very top of the screen. Nice. That should help us, yeah, should help us navigate a little easier. Right, so, um, I'm probably going to leave it there, folks, and pick this up again later. But thank you for watching. So this, yeah, this was a bit of Subnautica, returning to it in 2020. The last time I played was very early 2015, so, yeah, long time. Long time indeed. Right, so, I'm going to piss off and get on with editing. Whoop. Whilst my guy has a sleep or whatever, uh, awaiting rescue. So, um, yes, so please know that insofar as the latest project is concerned, uh, <clears throat> I'm working on some video essays. So, I'm hoping to have them ready and, pub and put them public on the channel when I'm actually done with this. So there'll be three in a row. It's about an hour and ten minutes long, or in total, so all three videos. So, <sighs> it's, it's quite a lot, I'm going to be honest, it's a lot of work. Um, so what I need to do now is I need to go I need to go go and polish these videos so they're edited but they're full of errors so today spot the errors fix the errors that's all I'm doing so I will be in this chair um, what's the weather like it just stopped raining I really need to get some food there's not much left in this flat okay so maybe run to get some food but otherwise uh, yeah just keep on trying to fix these errors and get this video done for you so that's the plan Right, let me have a look and see who's streaming now. Bear with me. Okay. Um, thank you, Robinson and Orca and Reaping and the Dirty Heretic. Thank you all of you for thank you, ah, thank you all of you for subbing. Thank you sincerely. Thank right. you all of you. For, oopsie. Okay, so ZF clans. So, oh, quite a few of mem yeah, loads of members of ZF are currently streaming. Okay. So who's doing what then? So Edberg is playing Call of Duty. Harry is playing Risk of Rain. Swat Knight is playing Genshin Impact. Moly, holy shit, he's playing Wreckfest. And Cyanide is doing PUBG. Okay, well, I haven't hosted up Moly in a long time. He's only just, like, got his PC back. So, um, yeah, I'll hand you over to ZF Moly then. So he's driving around in his car. I presume his cat is somewhere in his, uh, on his face cam. I'm sure he'll, uh, his, his cat's adorable. I'm sure it'll turn up. Um, so, yes, uh, please be nice to Moly. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, he's back after a long break due to a lack of PC. So, uh, yeah, show him some love. 
Thank you for watching. All the best. Have a lovely afternoon.